Hi guys, welcome back. Um, it's still Toi. Um, now I'm going to be taking you on um CSS tutorial. Uh, an HTML tutorial. I already gave you a brief introduction into um CSS. Uh, but now I'm going to be defining what um CSS is again. Uh, before you listen to this, uh, watch this um video tutorial. You have to watch my um HTML video tutorial. Uh, but if you already have uh, a prior knowledge of um, HTML, you can go ahead and continue to watch um, this tutorial. Okay, what's a cascading style sheet? Um, uh, what is CSS? That is a is a, in full is cascading style sheet, um, and is a code that specifies formatting um, based on styles. It is used to describe how HTML pages should be displayed. Okay, let me give um, a layman example. Let's say you just finished building a house. Uh, you need to make uh, make the house look good, and by making it look good, you have to paint uh, the house. Painting the house is just like you um, are using style sheet on HTML pages. So I'm going to be showing you how um, CSS is being used uh, together with HTML. There are three ways in which you can use CSS with HTML. Uh, okay, you can use the styles attribute uh, style tag inside the head section of your HTML page. I'm going to be using some of our previous examples, the previous examples we use in our HTML tutorial. So this is the first uh, way of making use of um, CSS style sheets using the style tag inside the H, the edge section of your HTML page this way. Uh, I'll quickly give a brief illustration of how to use um, CSS. Uh, okay, let's say I want to make um, this table we have here. I want to make have a background color of um, blue I'll just go ahead and reference the table tag do this way then give the background color background color of uh, blue so if I should open this table tag this table is already HTML in my web browser can you see that is one way of using um, CSS together with HTML another way we can use CSS with HTML is by um, declaring the style attribute inside the tag we want it to uh, style. Let's say we want see want the apply CSS to this particular tag. Or just do is uh, declare the style attributes inside the table tag. Another style equals to uh, apostrophe, then background color blue. Save it again. With my web browser, can you see? Uh, the third way is by referencing an external site style sheet. I'm going to do this by the last way I'm going to demonstrate this is by referencing an external style sheet. So I'm just going to create a new file, save it inside um, our project folder. Now call it um, style. And one more thing CSS files are being saved as those CSS. With the CSS extension, just as the way we um, save HTML files as .html, CSS files have been um, saved as m.css. So I'm going to save this as style.css. Then inside my um, tables uh, tables of HTML file, I'm going to reference that style by calling the link tag. Link tag. So can you see real style sheets? This defines that as a style sheet. Then the type is um text slash CSS, and I'm going to reference the file. Don't forget our reference um row. If it's the same folder, we just call the style name alone, the file name alone. If it is in a folder that is before the document folder, we add um two dots or by the backslash. If it is inside the folder, we declare the folder uh name to followed by slash. Then I'm going to save it. Let's load our free browser. Can you see? No style is being applied. But inside my the style CSS file, let me start the table tag. Background, background color. Give it color blue. Oops, what's going on? Table HTML style CSS. Uh, which folder is this being saved? Okay, my bad. I saved it as um, styles.css. That was my mistake. That was a mistake on my part. So I'm just going to add S to it and refresh. Can you see? Brilliant, it works. So in future tutorials, I'm going to be um, 
teaching you how to style text um, using CSS, adding fonts, color, font with a family, font size, color, uh, as well in future tutorials. So, bye for now.